let's get started. Uh, welcome to you from uh, Java E to Jakarta E uh, session. Uh, what is it about? I'm going to tell you about the progress we've done in moving Java EE to Jakarta EE. I'll answer the question why it took so long and I'll try to explain what kind of complications we had and how we solved this complication. We'll talk a little bit about the process and stuff and uh, a little bit about the future plans. I need to fit everything into 15 minutes, so I'll try to speak faster. This talk was originally designed for 35 minutes. Uh, I'm not really a fast speaker. Uh, <laughs> so I'll try to fit it into 15 minutes. Uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I am Dmitry Kornilov, I'm from Oracle. Uh, I am directly involved in the process of moving Java EE to Jakarta uh, because I am e for j PMC member. I'm also leading some projects, including Project Helidon. There is my contact information, Twitter, my blog, so follow me. This is requirement by Oracle Legal, basically saying that what I'm going to tell you about may change in future and should not base your critical business decision on that. Okay, and I will start with the achievement we have. An achievement is Eclipse Glassfish Milestone release, which was released before Oracle Code 1, before Eclipse Con Europe. Uh, this is a milestone release, uh, 5.1.0 RC1. It's available on Maven Central. There is a link. I know you can't click it now, uh, but uh, slides will be available offline after there. Uh, session and uh, I have an article in my blog about uh, this release about basically my session now is based on that blog article so if you want to uh, read more about this and quiet just uh, go there read about it okay and uh, all this efforts started uh, a year ago soon more than a year ago uh, last Java one, it was announced that Oracle will move all Java EE sources to the Open Source Foundation, Eclipse Foundation, and uh, other vendors like IBM, Red Hat, Boyara, Tommy Tribe, and so on, will sponsor that. And uh, this combined effort, uh, we will build a new platform based on Java EE, and this platform is going to be nimble, flexible, open, competitive, uh, vendor neutral, so very nice. Uh, what exactly is transferred? What exactly is moved? Java EE, okay, what is Java EE, right? So here is the answer. So we are transferring specifications, APIs, reference implementations, TCKs, which is very important basically because TCKs were not open sourced before. So uh, we are moving them and open sourcing them at the same time. Uh, manuals, documentation, samples, satellite projects, and this kind of thing. So quite, quite a lot, right? And uh, what really does it mean? So it's just words, APIs, arise. Uh, how big is that? Uh, I collected some statistics. So Java EE itself is 5.5 million lines of code. Quite a big stuff, right? and uh, 2.2 2 million lines of comments. So it's, comments are not included, so it's, we have separate code, separate comments, so in total it's 7.7 uh, 7 million lines of code. And everything is in 61K files. And CTS, CTS is basically the testing state. Uh, 4.6 million lines of code. You see that uh, tests are, test size basically comparable with Java E itself. And 1. million lines of comments. I can see that it's less commented than Java EE. And uh, 34K files. So the average file size is bigger. Okay, but all these numbers in total are 13.5 million lines of code in 95,000 files. It's quite a lot, is it? And uh, a little bit of comparison. So 
This bar is uh, our full contribution. You see that it's comparable with the Firefox code base. So I don't know which version uh, on that website, they said current, so I don't know what current means. Maybe it's current, current, maybe it's current in the past. But anyway, it's comparable with Firefox. Java EE itself is this bar, and it's comparable with, with World of Warcraft server side. Who is playing World of Warcraft here? Oh, just a few people, okay. Uh, for others, Linux kernel, 262. Quite an old version, but uh, it gives the impression of the size. CTS tests this bar comparable with Windows NT 3.1. It's quite an old stuff, but newer is Photoshop CS6. So you know what Photoshop is, a lot of mathematics there. So uh, our tests are, or the base of our tests, are more than Photoshop CS6. So now you understand the size of contribution. It's really huge. OK. so. I talked about the size, now I'll talk about the process we followed. The process is complicated, you see it there. So we need to follow Eclipse Foundation process and we need to follow Oracle process for transferring source code out. And actually it starts at the Eclipse Foundation with a project proposal, right? So we need to move about 100, 100 something repositories and the Eclipse doesn't operate repositories, it operates projects, right? So we need to group up uh, repositories into projects. Uh, how, how to group them up? Uh, this easy task is not easy, uh, but we ended up in uh, 39 projects in total. Grouping up maybe um, uh, mainly implementations, like for instance, Metro, contains about nine repositories, all Metro-related, JAXB implementation contains some repositories, JAXB-related, and so on. Um, the main template was API projects and implementations. Right? Uh, another interesting problem they had, the naming problem, how to name these projects. Uh, we had some legal restrictions from Oracle, so we couldn't really name projects as they are in Java EE, so we couldn't name the project like JaxRS, for instance. So we came out with a template after some hard discussions that uh, API projects will be named Eclipse projects for whatever, Eclipse project for JaxRS, for instance. Uh, and implementation projects will be called Eclipse whatever, like Eclipse Jersey. So another thing here is committers. It pro each project has committers, so we had to take committers from GitHub repositories, ask other vendors who we want to put as committers to uh, the new projects, uh, sort it out, including to the proposal, so quite a lot of paperwork. And uh, after proposal is submitted, it takes about, I think, three weeks until the project is actually created, uh, because it needs to pass a community review, it needs to pass the executive board review, and so on. So you see that it's not really straightforward, right? Because I had questions like, why it takes so long? Uh, you, uh, GitHub has an ability to change the owner of the repository. Okay, the answer is because we need to follow the process. Okay, uh, in parallel, we started preparation at Oracle and we need to pass the legal review and we need to pass the corp arc review. What does it mean? Legal is uh, clear, right? So checking the licenses of all source code, 13 and a half million uh, lines, by the way. So we need to check everything. And uh, Corp Arch is uh, checking dependencies because some of them are really old. Uh, some Java E projects are really old. And uh, uh, as a requirement, we had to update all dependencies to the newer versions. And uh, you understand that some of them are backwards compatible, some of them not really, some of them not, not at all. So there were a lot of code changes and uh, we had to pass test and so on. So uh, 13 and a half million lines of code. So uh, then everything is done. Uh, we released the last, ver last version from Oracle, archived the repository saying that's now at Eclipse and passed it to Eclipse. Uh, Eclipse checked it again, but we were well prepared, so we didn't have much problems there. Um, we had to build new CI CD pipelines because we can't reuse our CI CD pipelines at Oracle, so we need to create a new one at Eclipse. Uh, 
it's a story for another talk, so I have about five minutes left, so I won't touch it much. Uh, pass through release review and at the end release the first version of basically everything we contributed. I will touch a little bit about the plan later. And uh, now I will demonstrate the contribution timeline. It means that how we contributed it. So uh, you see that it's more or less consistent. So we started with YAS Solon Eclipse link. Uh, it was contributed at the end of last year. Uh, this project were a part of Eclipse Foundation already, so we didn't need to follow all the process. After that, we split all everything into five batches and started to contribute it. So uh, we didn't contribute everything. We just contributed stuff needed for building Glassfish. So the rest is documentation, monol samples, this kind of stuff, not really important. Uh, so in September, we actually finally contributed Glassfish and TCKs. So you can go to uh, Eclipse e for j repository and see all sources there. Okay, uh, now let's talk about participation. Uh, currently we have 80 active contributors. What does it mean active contributors? I uh, uh, define active as a person who has more than five contributions and contribution is PR or uh, bug or uh, commit, let's put it this way. So we have 80 active people and more than 200 designated committers, meaning that people who contributed less than five contributions. We have more than 1,000 commits and 900 PRs. Uh, and this is quite a lot for uh, projects which were just transferred. Uh, this diagram explains how these contributions are split by organizations. You see that Oracle is contributing about a third of everything. Uh, after that goes at large. At large means that we couldn't really identify uh, um, the organization person belongs to. So it may be community, maybe he just didn't uh, put organization in his profile. And uh, other companies like IBM, Red Hat, Tommy Tribe, blah, 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 is there. Uh, for me, it doesn't look right. So I would like to see all sectors equal. Uh, it's not like that. And uh, the second graph is a project leads by organization. Again, you see that Oracle is about half, and after that goes Piara and others. So again, uh, I would love to see it equal sectors. So this is the goal. Right? And uh, I was saying that I'll talk a little bit about the plan. So we have a plan of releasing the final version of Eclipse Glassfish. And uh, you see the plan on screen. Uh, the last version uh, is planned to be released at December 14th. And uh, uh, so far we are doing well, all the green stuff, it means that we've done with that. And uh, now we are uh, somewhere here. So now we are working on, we didn't really meet this deadline, right? But we are working hard to finish it now. So uh, everything is contributed. Now we are trying to uptake all dependencies, resolve all these uh, dependencies things, and uh, release projects to the staging repository. After that, we need to pass the release review and uh, pass all TCK tests and release the final version of Glassfish. I think we are now doing well. So uh, hopefully uh, December 14th, uh, we will announce uh, Eclipse Glassfish release. If you want to help us participate, so I'm cutting to action. So uh, this is a website, just go there, uh, see what's going on. And this is the main mailing list we have. So if you want to participate, you can also contact me directly, I'll help you. Uh, and thank you very much. We have a little bit less than a minute for questions. Uh, 30 seconds, uh, so maybe you better uh, come to me uh, after I finish uh, and we will talk about it. Thank you. <laughs>